a great idea to show the bathroom with a tube filled with water. That would be very impressive render. But how to do this? Let's explain it. This is a bathroom scene with a bathtub. I want to fill it with water. To do this, we need to create a plane. I'll zoom out and then go to the view from the top and create a plane. Firstly, I will do it using rectangle tool and then I will create two point arc and the same on the other side. I can delete unnecessary planes and lines. We can smoothen this arc, just change the number of segments, for example, to 30, and also here from 10 to 30. Then I click three times, right click, and make group. I will move it to the left side and try to adjust it to the bathtub. It's definitely too large. I need to scale it. I will reverse the face because I would like to have the front face at the top. That's why I go to the group, right click and reverse faces to have white face at the top. Let's check the render. This is our face. It doesn't look like a water, so we need to create the proper material. That's why I go to the asset editor, materials tab and create new generic material. I will rename it to V-Ray Water. To create water, we need to change some settings. Firstly, Diffuse tab. I change the color to the black one. Then I go to the Reflection tab. And here I set Reflection color to white. And Reflection glossiness is set to one. Then I go to Refraction tab and I change Refraction color to white. I need to change IOR, index of reflection. For water, it's 1.33. Okay, I will apply this material to the plane. I go to the materials tab, click on the icon and apply it to the plane. Let's check the render. It looks much better. We can see that this bathtub is filled with water, but we can do it more realistic. To do this, I go to the asset editor, and to the material settings. To get more realistic effect, we need displacement tab. To do this, I click on the add attribute and choose displacement. I turn on displacement and here I can upload noise map. I click on the texture slot and then choose noise A. I will not change anything here. I will leave it as it is. I go to the previous asset and then check the result. We can say that nothing has changed, only this noise over here is visible, but it's very small. This is because the texture mapping is wrong. This noise is too small, we need to change it. Let's see that on the right side, in the materials tab, I have edit tab. Here, I can change the size of the texture. Let's see that in the diffuse tab, there is no texture. We have only color here. That's why I cannot change the dimension of the texture over here. We need to fix it. I will not upload the texture here. I will go to the binding tab. It's at the bottom. I expand this tab and go to the texture mode. For now, it's set to auto. I will change it to texture helper. Let's see that the right side has changed because I've uploaded the texture helper in the binding tab. Now, I can change the dimension of the texture. To see the texture helper in SketchUp, I need to change the opacity. For now, it's set to 10%. I will change it to 100. Let's see the render. And the difference is visible. I think that the effect is too strong and the texture is too small. I will enlarge the texture and decrease the intensity of the displacement. I go to the V-Ray Texture Helper and change the dimensions from 254 millimeters to 1000. Let's see that I'm working with millimeters units. If you are working with centimeters, you should change it to 100 centimeters. Let's see the result. 
It looks much better, but as I said before, we need to change the displacement intensity. For now, it's too strong. There is no need to have such strong effect. I go to the Asset Editor, Displacement tab, change the amount of displacement from 1 to 0 0.1. And let's see the change. And let's see that the effect looks very realistic. We have a water, small displacement, and it's very good visualization. Okay, but what about the color of water? For now, it's too transparent. It's not natural. We need to change the color. To do this, I go to the Asset Editor, Add to Refraction tab. If we want to change the color of water, we need to change the fog color. That's why I click on the swatch and change the color to blue one. I will change some values. And this is our blue color. Let's check the visualization. And the color is black. It's not what I wanted to obtain. We can notice a little blue color somewhere here on the edges, but this color is very bad. If we want to get the right effect, we need to change the fog multiplier. If I increase this value, color of the water will be darker, almost black. If I decrease this value, it's getting lighter and lighter. I will change this value to 0 0.003. Remember that you need to check some options. Check, for example, three different values and see what looks the best. I've checked some options and I think that this value, in my case, looks the most realistic. Let's see. And this is my bluish color of water. It looks very nice, very realistic. Remember that if you want to change the color of the water to more transparent, to the white color, you need to decrease the fog multiplier. I would like to create something even better. To do this, I will use some objects from 3D Warehouse. The link to these models is in the description of the video. This is a running water model. I downloaded this file and changed it a little bit. Let's see. This is my running water model and I will copy it to my project. I select it, Control C, go to my project and Control V. I move it to the right place, somewhere here. It looks fine. And let's apply material to the model. I double click, select the faces and apply material to the model. I will do the same here, double click, select the faces, Control A to select all the objects and apply the material to selection. Okay, it's fine. Let's see the result. The result is not satisfactory. The water is black. It looks very weird on the render. This is because the mapping of the texture is wrong. We need to fix it. Let's see. If I zoom in and come a little closer, the mapping of the texture is very bad. To fix it very quickly, just right click at the top bar and choose V-Ray Utilities. New icons has appeared. If I double click on the object, select the faces, I can choose three planar projection fit. I click on it and wait a second. Let's see that it looks much better. And I will do the same here. Select all the faces and choose three planar projection fit. Let's see. It looks much better. And let's see the difference on the visualization. Now it looks much better. It's very natural and realistic render. Let's see this running water from the different view. I go to scene one and render. This is my visualization, but I think that this water is too calm. We need to change the intensity of the displacement. Let's go to the asset editor, to V-Ray water material, displacement, and change the amount from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. Let's see the difference. And this is my final visualization. I think that the render is very interesting and that's what I wanted to obtain. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and check out my website edac.org with many V-Ray for SketchUp courses. See you soon. Bye.